This is an extract from the Leader podcast by The Evening Standard. The whole thing is available on all major podcast providers. A new three-tier lockdown system is being imposed by the government in different places will be put into different levels. Liverpool's getting level three, the highest. London is probably going into level two. But the Deputy Chief Medical Officer, Professor Jonathan Van Tam, says that does not mean all of the country should not be on alert. I might have presented a, um, a bipolar picture that COVID-19 is a problem in the north and not a problem in the south. On the contrary, pretty much all areas of the UK are now seeing growths in the infection rate. Regardless, our editorial column is concerned about how regional lockdowns look. As this capital's newspaper, we regret that the fight against COVID-19 is turning, in some people's minds, into a North versus South conflict. We reject this notion and stand with the affected northern cities and towns in their demands for better treatment from the government as they struggle to cope with the crisis. That means two things in particular. The first is greater involvement for local leaders in making decisions. There must also be greater support for employees forced to stop work and enhanced help for businesses shut down by lockdown curbs. A significant amount of the money required will come from taxes paid in London. This is a national struggle and it's critical that, as a country, we work together to ensure all those who need help receive it. Our Deputy Political Editor Nicholas Cecil is here. Nicholas, let's start with the new rules themselves first. We've got three different levels of lockdown. What are they and how do they work? Yes, the the government are trying to introduce a simplified system for local restrictions. So they're going to be three tiers, which will be kind of medium, high and very high. And so the first tier is pretty much currently what we've got at the moment. The second tier... These restrictions are expected to be similar to what's currently in place in the northeast, which would be a ban on indoor mixing between households, and the rule of six would still apply in outdoor settings, and that may be limited to two households, but that's not clear at this stage. Then the third tier, the highest tier, which is going to apply in Liverpool, could see lots more venues shutting. Um, Again, this is not 100% clear, but this could perhaps be pubs, bars, betting shops, casinos and gyms, possibly pubs and restaurants as well. And in London, they're potentially looking at putting the city into tier two, aren't they? Yes, so, so it's looking like that London could be heading into tier two, possibly early next week, or even late this week. This depends uh, significantly on if cases continuing to rise. Um, There's been a a steady increase in the capital, not as dramatic as in the northwest and in parts of the Midlands, but it's certainly rising in all boroughs at the moment. There are some signs that the growth in the epidemic may be slowing slightly. For example, The rise in hospitalisation seems to be easing off slightly. And there's some boroughs like Barking and Dagenham and Tower Hamlets, which were very much hotspots. And now they've seen the rise in cases decline quite dramatically. Isn't there a concern, though, that if you have different parts of the country going into different kinds of lockdown, and because because of the way this seems to be playing out, there's a bit of a north-south divide. Yes, that's certainly a case, and certainly community leaders in the north believe that the lockdown was lifted too soon to suit London when cases were still high in the north, which means that the epidemic was still around the north and, and has therefore started growing more strongly in their areas. Certainly there is a, another factor which may be helping London to keep cases down is the fact that it's easier for many Londoners to work from home and that may be another reason why cases have stayed low. At the moment the preferred option is to try and introduce measures across the capital rather than borough by borough just because London has travelled between areas so much for for work and socially. So to introduce it just for a couple of boroughs would be very difficult. 
But if you want to introduce it across the whole city, then there's going to be some controversy because some areas still have quite low levels of coronavirus, while others are far, far higher. Is the plan really to get this under control by Christmas? And can that be done, Nick? It's certainly to try and get it under control by the time a vaccine, or to keep it under control for for the arrival of a vaccine. It it will be difficult before Christmas because viruses, respiratory viruses, tend to increase during the autumn and winter months. So it's it's fighting a tougher battle um, than we were in the spring. So are you expecting this to be a long-term solution being put in by the government now that we're going to see this sort of three-tier system for quite a while before a vaccine arrives? Well, this really is very much in the hands of Londoners because if we all follow social distancing and good hygiene rules properly, then it may be possible to lift these measures if they come in in the first place. But if people continue partying and flouting the rules in in other ways, then these tough rules will be put in place to avoid more hospitalisations and more deaths. 